Gravitational time dilation is a form of time dilation, an actual difference of elapsed time between two events as measured by observers situated at varying distances from a gravitating mass. The higher the gravitational potential the farther the clock is from the source of gravitation, the faster time passes. Albert Einstein originally predicted this effect in his theory of relativity and it has since been confirmed by tests of general relativity. This has been demonstrated by noting that atomic clocks at differing altitudes and thus different gravitational potential will eventually show different times. The effects detected in such earth-bound experiments are extremely small, with differences being measured in nanoseconds. Relative to Earth's age in billions of years, Earth's core is effectively 2.5 years younger than its surface. Demonstrating larger effects would require greater distances from the Earth or a larger gravitational source. Gravitational time dilation was first described by Albert Einstein in 1907 as a consequence of special relativity in accelerated frames of reference. In general relativity, it is considered to be a difference in the passage of proper time at different positions as described by a metric tensor of spacetime. The existence of gravitational time dilation was first confirmed directly by the Pound-Rebka experiment in 1959. <laughs> Definition Clocks that are far from massive bodies or at higher gravitational potentials run more quickly, and clocks close to massive bodies or at lower gravitational potentials run more slowly. For example, considered over the total time span of Earth 4.6 billion years, a clock set at the peak of Mount Everest would be about 39 hours ahead of a clock set at sea level. This is because gravitational time dilation is manifested in accelerated frames of reference or, by virtue of the equivalence principle, in the gravitational field of massive objects. According to general relativity, inertial mass and gravitational mass are the same, and all accelerated reference frames such as a uniformly rotating reference frame with its proper time dilation are physically equivalent to a gravitational field of the same strength. Let us consider a family of observers along a straight, vertical, line, each of whom experiences a distinct constant g-force directed along this line e.g., a long accelerating spacecraft, a skyscraper, a shaft on a planet. Let g h be the dependence of g-force on height, a coordinate along the aforementioned line. The equation with respect to a base observer at h equals 0 Display style h equals zero is t d h equals exp one c two zero h g h d h Display style t underscore d h equals exp left frac 1 c caret 2 int underscore 0 caret h g h d h right, where t d h display style t underscore d h is the total time dilation at a distant position h display style h g h Display style g h is the dependence of g force on height h. Display style h c. Display style c is the speed of light and exp. Display style exp denotes exponentiation by e. For simplicity, in a Rindler's family of observers in a flat spacetime, the dependence would be g. H equals C two H plus H display style G H equals C carrot two H plus H with constant H display style H which yields T D H equals E lane H plus h minus lane h equals h plus h h 
Display style t underscore d h equals east caret lane h plus h lane h equals t f r a c h plus h h. On the other hand, when g display style g is nearly constant and g h display style g h is much smaller than c two display style c caret two the linear weak field approximation t d equals 1 plus g h c 2 display style t underscore d equals 1 plus g h c caret 2 can also be used See Ehrenfest paradox for application of the same formula to a rotating reference frame in flat spacetime. Topic: <laughs> Outside a non-rotating sphere. A common equation used to determine gravitational time dilation is derived from the Schwarzschild metric, which describes spacetime in the vicinity of a non-rotating massive spherically symmetric object. The equation is t zero equals t f one minus two g m r c two equals t f one minus r s r Display style t underscore zero equals t underscore f s q r t one f r a c two g m r c caret two equals t underscore f s q r t one f r a c r underscore s r, where t zero display style t underscore zero is the proper time between events A and B for a slow ticking observer within the gravitational field t. Display style t underscore f is the coordinate time between events A and B for a fast ticking observer at an arbitrarily large distance from the massive object. This assumes the fast ticking observer is using Schwarzschild coordinates, a coordinate system where a clock at infinite distance from the massive sphere would tick at one second per second of coordinate time, while closer clocks would tick at less than that rate. G. Display style g is the gravitational constant. M display style M is the mass of the object creating the gravitational field R display style R is the radial coordinate of the observer which is analog OUS to the classical distance from the center of the object but is actually a Schwarzschild coordinate C display style C is the speed of light and R S equals 2 g m c 2 display style r underscore s equals 2 g m c caret 2 is the Schwarzschild radius of m display style m to illustrate then without accounting for the effects of rotation proximity to earth's gravitational well will cause a clock on the planet's surface to accumulate around 0.0219 fewer seconds over a period of 1 year than would a distant observer's clock in comparison a clock on the surface of the sun will accumulate around 66.4 fewer seconds in 1 year topic <laughs> circular orbits In the Schwarzschild metric, free-falling objects can be in circular orbits if the orbital radius is larger than 3 2 r s display style tfrac 3 2 r underscore s the radius of the photon sphere. The formula for a clock at rest is given above. The formula below gives the gravitational time dilation for a clock in a circular orbit, but it does not include the opposing time dilation caused by the clock's motion. Both dilations are shown in the figure below. T zero equals T F one minus three 
2 r s r display style t underscore 0 equals t underscore f s q r t 1 frac 3 2 c d o t frac r underscore s r topic important features of gravitational time dilation According to the general theory of relativity, gravitational time dilation is copresent with the existence of an accelerated reference frame. An exception is the center of a concentric distribution of matter, where there is no accelerated reference frame, yet clocks are still supposed to tick slowly. Additionally, all physical phenomena in similar circumstances undergo time dilation equally according to the equivalence principle used in the general theory of relativity. The speed of light in a locale is always equal to c according to the observer who is there. That is, every infinitesimal region of spacetime may be assigned its own proper time and the speed of light according to the proper time at that region is always c. This is the case whether or not a given region is occupied by an observer. A time delay can be measured for photons which are emitted from Earth, bend near the Sun, travel to Venus, and then return to Earth along a similar path. There is no violation of the constancy of the speed of light here, as any observer observing the speed of photons in their region will find the speed of those photons to be c, while the speed at which we observe light travel finite distances in the vicinity of the Sun will differ from c. If an observer is able to track the light in a remote, distant locale which intercepts a remote, time-dilated observer nearer to a more massive body, that first observer tracks that both the remote light and that remote time-dilated observer have a slower time clock than other light which is coming to the first observer at sea, like all other light the first observer really can observe at their own location. If the other, remote light eventually intercepts the first observer, it too will be measured at sea by the first observer. Time dilation in a gravitational field is equal to time dilation in far space, due to a speed that is needed to escape that gravitational field. Here is the proof point 1. Time dilation inside a gravitational field G per this article is T 0 equals T F 1 minus 2 G M R C two display style t underscore zero equals t underscore f s q r t one frac two g m r c caret two two escape velocity from g is two g m r display style s q r t two g m r three time dilation formula per special relativity is T zero equals T F one minus V two C two display style T underscore zero equals T underscore F S Q R T one V carrot two C carrot two four substituting escape velocity for V in the above T zero equals T F one minus two G M R C two Display style T underscore zero equals T underscore F S Q R T one F R A C two G M R C carrot two Proved by comparing 1, and 4, this should be true for any gravitational fields considering simple scenarios like non-rotation etc. Below is one evident example, a time stops at surface of a black hole. b escape velocity from surface of a black hole is c. c time stops at speed c. Here asterisk t 0 display style t underscore 0 is the proper time between events A and B for a slow ticking observer within the gravitational field. Asterisk T F display style T underscore F is the coordinate time between events A and B for a fast ticking observer at an arbitrarily large distance from the massive object. Asterisk G display style G is the gravitational constant. Asterisk 
m display style m is the mass of the object creating the gravitational field asterisk r display style r is the radial coordinate of the observer which is analogous to the classical distance from the center of the object asterisk c display style c is the speed of light asterisk v display style v is the velocity asterisk g display style g is gravitational acceleration field equals g m r 2 display style g m r caret 2 topic experimental confirmation Gravitational time dilation has been experimentally measured using atomic clocks on airplanes. The clocks aboard the airplanes were slightly faster than clocks on the ground. The effect is significant enough that the global positioning system's artificial satellites need to have their clocks corrected. Additionally, time dilations due to height differences of less than 1 meter have been experimentally verified in the laboratory. Gravitational time dilation has also been confirmed by the Pound Rebka experiment, observations of the spectra of the white dwarf Sirius B, and experiments with time signals sent to and from Viking 1 Mars lander. See also Clock hypothesis Gravitational redshift Hafel-Keating experiment Relative velocity time dilation Twin paradox <laughs>